You are welcome, Miss Cassandra. Be rest assured, I will not take much of your time. Just few minutes. Thank you, but I prefer you call me Cassandra. And you can take as much time as you need. I am here to help find my friend. Thank you. So, I am aware that you and Faith were best friends. Very close friends. And you both were always seen together. Yes, Faith and I were close friends. We were always together until she changed. She stopped visiting and our friendship was affected. At what point was it affected? Were you both dragging anything? What caused the separation? Well, actually, nothing caused it. I guess it happened that. Because I stopped following her to church frequently. Most of our time was in church. So when I stopped following her, our friendship was affected. At least, you were still seeing her. Yes, I was. Did you notice anything strange about her? Her fiance claims she was seeing another man. As her best friend, do you have any idea? Who the man she was seeing was i can beat my chest and say that matthew is the first man faith ever got in a relationship with she was not the type of girl to mess around she loved him genuinely did she say so i know so if truly she was seeing someone else she wouldn't have agreed to fix the wedding date with him so she never told you anything about another man even when she spent the night in your house me no faith has never slept over in my house she's someone that doesn't stay out late so she leaves before night falls. Her mother claims she spent the night in your house once. Never had she slept over in my house. Her mother should think well because it is definitely not my house. You must be joking, ma. Don't even bring that trick today because it will not work. <laughs> Why are you angry? Is there anything wrong with me wanting to hang out with my friend? Yes, everything is wrong with it. Have you forgotten we agree that whoever suggests an outing will be the one to sort out the bills? So, is it because of the bills that you are looking like this? You know money is not my problem. Money is not your problem when it comes to women. But it's always hard for you to spend on your fellow man. This time around, I will not pay. So, why will I spend my money on you? What will I benefit from spending on you? So, what will you benefit from spending on them because of sex? Actually, not because of sex. I want to settle down. I am 35 already without a woman. I need a woman that will give me children. So what about the lady you have been seeing recently? You mean Christabel? Well, we're still taking it slow. I have not even asked her anything yet. I just want to get married and have children. So you want to settle down with whoever is ready? What if you have no feelings for her? She cares about love. I have no feelings for Christabel, but if she accepts to marry me, then I'll marry her so she can be a children for me. Are you listening to yourself? You want to marry for children and not for love? Oh God, leave love i beg i need children why the lady needs money matthew are you really sure you don't need anything to drink you have been sad these days so a chill drink will go a long way in making you feel relaxed drinking will not take away my pain and sorrow i just want to die johnson so i don't see any reason to stay alive god forbid you will never die until you achieve your purpose on earth what is wrong with you does this have to do with fate yes you will not understand what's going on i feel very sick i would like to travel back to my hometown for a while you want to travel back to your hometown when we are about to have youth rally in few days time maybe you should go to the hospital you will not understand. Please, make me understand. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Maybe I can be of help. No, there's nothing. I just feel sad because of what has been done to me. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Precious complained of what you said to her when you saw her in my house. I guess that is the main reason why you are here in my house. Not really, but now that I'm here, I would like to make you understand that I have nothing going on in Precious. So why is she always in your house? I don't mean she's not supposed to visit you, especially now that you are not feeling well. But there should be boundaries. It is not right for her to come cook in your house. I know, but she's just trying to help. She made me understand that she doesn't want anything to do with me. She's only concerned. I will still insist to set boundaries with some of these ladies. Hi, Ma. You're welcome, dear. I'm so happy to see you. I didn't see you all through yesterday. You seem to have missed me so much. Yes, I missed you. I'm glad you decided to come and see me today. You didn't pick my calls this afternoon. Sorry, my dear. I was really busy with my personal stuff. Cassandra told me you came to the house yesterday. Yes, I did. Thank you very much for all the gifts you got for me. You have spoiled me too much ever since we became friends. That is because I love spoiling my friends. I hope you like all the things I got for you. Yes, I did. I saw someone leave your apartment on my way coming. Was that your brother? No, really. He is my friend, Robert. Wow, so you have a friend that is so handsome. I guess he was the one you went out with the other day. Yes, I hope you don't have eyes on my friend because it will hurt me too much. Of course not. It is just a harmless admiration. So, where would you like me to take you today? Just tell me and I'll take you there. Are you serious? There is this new restaurant close to my neighborhood. I would like to try their food. I heard they cook so well. Alright, let me get my car keys. Okay. 
Matthew, what have you done to yourself? What have I gotten myself into? This is not me at all. This is not who I used to be. Killing is something I saw I will never engage myself with. But look at me today. I didn't just kill Faith. I also killed that innocent child in her womb. Killed two people. I thought after lying, she ran away with another man. I will feel much better. But it's becoming worse by today. I thought my conscience would relieve me of the guilt I was feeling. But nothing has changed. Ever since Faith died, I haven't been able to sleep with my two eyes closed. Will God ever forgive me for such an abominable act? Will he ever pardon myself? Will faith ever forgive me? I have to confess my sins. I cannot continue like this. Christabel, this is the last time I will ask you what relationship you have with Ima. Can you imagine this girl? How many times will I tell you that you are not my mother? Why are you so concerned about my affairs? I am concerned because when Ima wants to start his madness, I'll be here to defend you. And he might even drag me inside just like he did to Faith's mother. <laughs> You're so funny, Cassandra. You should be happy I am no longer seeing Johnson. You are making me lose my patience, Christabel. How come Ima spent so much on you? Have you ever asked yourself what he wants? I don't care what he wants. I just want to be happy. You should be happy for me too. Unless you are jealous that I am being treated that way when you still don't have a man. I am only concerned about... Thank you, Ma. I don't need your concern. Ima and I are just friends. I don't know why you are getting upset. You saw what happened between him and Faith. I am not Faith. My relationship with Ima is different. So please allow me to enjoy myself. I have been lonely for too long. This is the time for me to be happy. You are an adult, so I will not force you to do anything. But be rest assured that I will not stand up for you when trouble comes. Whatever. Ima has made me happy ever since I became friends with him. He has made me stop thinking about Johnson. I can't remember the last time I went to see Johnson. Yet you cannot be. Sorry, ma. All I am saying is you should be careful. Try and ask him what he wants before it's too late. Please calm down, ma, and talk to me. What did you say you found in Faith's belongs? I found the test results in her bag. It is still like a shock to me, officer. I still have the test results with me. This is getting more interesting. So she was pregnant before she disappeared. Exactly my thoughts. She was two weeks pregnant before her disappearance. Now I understand why Matthew has been trying very hard to make everyone believe she ran away with another man. I succeeded in speaking with her friend, Cassandra. Apart from Cassandra, is there any other place she goes to? She loved going to church and she loved visiting Matthew in the name of preparing for their wedding. Who do you think was the owner of the pregnancy before her disappearance? Who else if not Matthew? My daughter is never the type to run around with men. I am certain that Matthew called my daughter pregnant. You said she spent the night in Cassandra's house, but Cassandra claimed she never spent the night in her house. <laughs> I have to see Matthew. Just to explain what exactly happened to my daughter. We've always trusted Listen, you. please. I really do not have much time to spend with you. Maybe you should go and come back. Where are you running off to by this time of the afternoon? The sun is very hot. You should be resting. There's no need to rest. I have something very important to attend to. I don't think I'll return soon. How about I wait for you here? It is really boring staying alone in my house. I think I prefer here. I don't want you to be embarrassed again. That is why I'm telling you to leave in case someone else comes here and sees you. Should I expect someone? Should I expect someone here? Most of our church members prefer to meet you in church than your house. So you have nothing to be afraid of. Mm, it's okay. I'll be going to see Johnson. You look very dull. Did you get any sleep last night? I don't understand what is happening to you, Matthew. You'll never understand. What is happening to me is something I cannot tell anyone. Please, you can leave when you want to. No, I will wait until you return. I don't want to leave you all by yourself. I want to make sure you eat well when you return and you have enough rest before I leave. I'm sure when you find out about the real person that I am, you will also despise me. Nothing can ever make me hate you, Matthew. You are a saint in my eyes. It is not your fault that you are a victim of what fate did few days to your wedding. I have to go now. Say something, Matthew. You told me you have something to tell me, but you have been mute. Is everything okay with you? I don't even know where to start from. I know you will never forgive me for what I have done. I'm certain that my forgiveness doesn't matter. As long as you tell me what you have done wrong and God forgives you, I think that is enough. I've committed the worst crime ever. Even God will despise me. I have let the whole church down. I don't even know where to hide my face in shame. Now, I really want to know what you have done. Does it have to do with fate? Yes, I have a hand in a disappearance. In what way? Talk to me, Matthew. Let me know what 
what you have done. No sin is beyond forgiveness. Mine is beyond forgiveness. Speak up and let God be the judge of that. Speak up and be relieved of whatever evil you, you have done. Just know God loves you no matter what. I killed fit. You did what? I killed fit. And Anna, I'm a born child. I'm a murderer. I'm a monster. That is not true. This cannot be true. I know you can never do such a thing. Do not implicate yourself of what you have not done. This is the truth, Johnson. I killed her. It wasn't my intention to kill her. I just wanted to abort the pregnancy she was carrying. I didn't want anyone to know we were intimate before marriage. Unbelievable. So you knew about her disappearance all this while and you tried to frame her and make her look bad? You are truly a monster. Please forgive me. Where is that good for nothing, Matthew? Matthew, come out here this minute. Good evening, Ma. Ah, Faith's mother. It's been a long time. How are you doing, Ma? What are you doing here in Matthew's house, Precious? Is this where the choir rehearsal hold? Um, actually, Ma, I came to see Matthew and to console him of the evil thing your daughter did to him a few days to his wedding. Will you shut up your mouth? So you are one of the people that accused my daughter of running away with another man? But that is the truth. That is not an accusation, but the truth. Matthew has been down ever since then. He needs someone to comfort him. That is why I'm here. <laughs> he needs someone to comfort him. That is why you are here. I am so ashamed of you, Precious. So this is what you girls do. Don't misunderstand me, Ma. You go to church and you sing with the loud voice yet you come to a man's house and be his comforter i won't be surprised if you have already been on his bed god forbid i am a woman of virtue i know my boundaries and i would never do such a thing i still have the fear of god in me since matthew is not at home do well to inform him that i will be back with the pregnancy test results of my daughter tell him that very soon everything will be revealed you don't look happy, Christabel. Ever since you came here, you've been looking at me. Have I done something wrong? You have not done anything wrong. I'm just wondering how you could feel so comfortable to spend lavishly on someone you call your friend. <laughs> don't tell me that is why you've been looking at me. Well, the truth is that I am not a stingy person. I love giving out. With the way you spend on me, I am certain you need something from me. So tell me what it is. Don't be so sure I need something from you. I just like you and I feel this is the best way to make you happy. Stop with the pretense, Ima. Just tell me what you want. My friend and I have been worried with all the things you have been sending to me because i will not be able to pay back when the time comes okay fine i want to marry you i thought as much this was the same thing you did to fit you spent lavishly on her until you proposed to her come on that is not really the reason i just like you i like how friendly you are and you have made me so happy ever since we became close thank you but i don't think i am ready for marriage why not i am 35 and i want to settle down i am sure you are also up to the age of marriage just give me some time to go through this hey. Trusted. Welcome, Matthew. What took you so long? I didn't know you stay out so late in the night. Precious, what are you doing here? This is past 10 in the night. Why haven't you gone back home? Oh my god, have you been drinking? You smell of alcohol. What happened? I thought you don't take alcohol. Please, I'm not in the mood to answer several questions from you. You should be on your way home. It's really late. What happened to you, Matthew? Why did you drink? Is there something you're not telling me? Why can't you share your problems with me? Please just leave me alone. You will not be able to solve my problems. It's way bigger than you imagine. Yes, I know your problem. But I don't think if it is the main problem that made you drink. What do you know? Faith's mother was here in the afternoon. Tell me the truth, Matthew. You slept with Faith and got her pregnant before her disappearance. Wait, how do you know about it? Was that what Faith Mother said? Yes, you should have seen the look on her face. It screamed off the trouble and she also said everything will be exposed. She I have to see her. There's no need hiding it anymore. If more investigations are carried out, I will be exposed in no time. What are you talking about? Please go home before I return. I have to see Faith Mother. Please ma, have mercy on me. I know I've done the worst thing and it's unforgivable. Please have mercy on me. What are you doing in my house, Matthew? Why are you here by this time of the night? What is it that could not wait till morning? Please, I could not wait till morning. I know my mistakes and I'm here to please for mercy. It's not yet time for you to kneel. I have some questions to ask you. I haven't been myself for weeks now. I haven't been able to sleep. I've been having nightmares. I haven't been able to sleep as well because my only daughter is missing. I am very sure she will be found. So Matthew, you slept with my daughter. It was just the one nineteen. It was just once, I swear. We don't plan for it. And she got pregnant. Yes, ma. She got pregnant. I repaired her phone and checked it. I realized you were the last person my daughter spoke with before the phone got spoiled. Yes, ma. Where is my daughter, Matthew? She's there. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to kill her. I just wanted to get rid of the pregnancy. Everything happened so fast that she died. Dead? You killed my daughter. Please forgive me, ma.
Just please help me. I'm, I'm finished. Please help me. Matthew, please leave my house. I am not yet ready to face you. You can come back later tomorrow. Johnson, please don't turn your back on me. This is the time I need you the most. Please help me. Please stand up and sit. There is no point in kneeling for me. Johnson, we've been friends for a long time. Yes, I know what I've done is unforgivable, but please don't do this to me. Matthew, I don't even know how to face you knowing that you killed an innocent girl for your selfish interest. How could you be so wicked? I don't know what came over me. I didn't know how to explain to the church. Don't always drag the church in your irresponsibility. What happened to you facing the consequence of having sex before marriage? So many people held me in high esteem. I didn't want to disappoint them and be a bad role model. Just listen to yourself and you feel killing Faith and the baby was the best solution. I pity you, Matthew. Please help me talk to Faith's mother. She's threatening to deal with me. I'm scared. I don't want to go to jail. You must be punished for what you have done, Matthew. Pray to God for forgiveness. You cut short another person's life because of your selfishness. That is the highest level of inhumanity. You can't help me. Justin, please, else I will kill myself. It is too like a dream to me that my daughter is gone. And he had the cause to take her to the mortuary for that long. Hmm, I don't even know what to say. This is the first time I am seeing this kind of thing. Matthew was the last person I expected to do such a thing. I gave my daughter to him because I felt he was the right one for her. Faith was so much in love with him, but he paid her back with evil. <laughs> Please, my condolences, ma. Have you been able to see Faith's body in the mortuary? I don't even have the courage to leave this house ever since he confessed. It is just like a dream to me. <laughs> I will make him pay for what he has done. Please, ma. But don't you think we should settle this out from the police? I will never be happy for you if you are here to appeal for him. Faith was my only child, yet he killed her without looking back. And you are here to appeal for him. No, all I am saying is that you should let God judge this matter. He will have his own dose of the medicine when the time comes. Both God and I will judge the matter. He has to rot in jail. Is this not precious? Oh my god, love it. Is this really you? Man, it's been such a long time. How have you been? I have been fine. It's been years. So you're still in the city. I thought you traveled back to your hometown after graduation. For where? I've been around Jare. Where are you going to? I live in this area. I should be the one to ask you. It's so good to see you. Are you in a hurry? No, not at all. I came to check on someone. How about Judith? I saw her once last year. I sent my regards to you. You know how Judith is. Maybe she forgot to tell me she saw you because I have never heard her talk about you. So where do you stay now? My place is far from here. I was actually waiting for a taxi to come pick me up. I won't be able to trek to the main road. Since you're not in a hurry, how about we go to my house so I can treat you to a delicious meal? Wow, that sounds nice. Because I'm already so hungry. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Good evening, Cassandra. Hi, Ima. Good evening to you too. I guess you have brought gifts to Christabel again today. Why do you seem so bitter? Excuse me, how dare you call me bitter? I only asked a simple question. You bring gifts whenever you come, so don't I have the right to ask? Well, I am not here for Christabel. I came to see you and have a word with you. I'm all yes. What do you want to talk to me about? It is still about Christabel. I am not sure she told you I want to marry her. <gasps> you proposed to her. I have not heard such thing from her. She saw me this morning, yet she didn't tell me. Hmm. Maybe she's waiting for the right time to tell you. Yes, I proposed to her and I really want to marry her. Okay, go ahead and marry her. The problem is that she turned me down. I love Christabel and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. But she told me she would think about it. So what exactly do you want me to do? Obviously, she's not done thinking. When she's done thinking, she'll give you the reply. You're our closest friend, Cassandra. Please, I want you to talk to her on my behalf. Just make her see reasons why she should marry me. There is absolutely no good reason for her to marry you. I don't know what your problem is, Ima. First, it was fate. And now it is Christabel. Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. I just think you should look elsewhere. Leave my friend alone. You are not good for her. I know you need money. Okay, talk to her and I will give you a hundred thousand naira. I don't blame you, Sha. Officer, please, let's not waste too much time here. I am already boiling inside of me. Arrest this man. Let's leave. Please, ma'am, we can settle these things amicably. Why do you want to take it this far? Please, let's settle this. Settle what exactly? Didn't you confess with your mouth that you killed fate? What do you want us to settle again? It was by mistake. I did not just go to the market and get poison for her. Please have mercy. I don't have mercy. My daughter's name was Fate and not Mercy. I regret the day she told me she wanted to marry you. I regret ever treating her that way. I wish you can forgive me. If you were in my shoes, would you forgive a man that killed your only family and demands for forgiveness? Mr. Matthew, right from when I stayed this investigation, I knew there was something off about you. I knew you were hiding something. 
I just wanted to clear my name. Please, ma, let's settle this from the police. Please have mercy. I can never forgive you, Matthew. Just look at you. You wanted to get away with your sins. You killed my only child and you are asking for mercy. Mr. Matthew, you are under arrest for the murder of Miss Faith. You are advised to keep silent because everything you say here will be used against you in the court of law. Now, move.